We will do everything together, in partnership, in solidarity, to support what is necessary at this very moment in terms of the humanitarian and security needs of Ukraine and the Ukrainian people. Vice President Kamala Harris out in Poland and doing her best to clean up the big mess over fighter jets for Ukraine. The Biden administration claiming a breakdown in communication as the reason for them blocking the deal that would have gotten Ukrainians the air defense capabilities desperately needed to fight off the Russian invasion. Harris claiming the U.S. is united with Poland despite the disconnect, even dodging a question about it. What kind of alternative plans does the United States have uh, to get materials to help Ukraine defend itself, uh, especially now that you have declined Poland's offer on jets? I want to be very clear. The United States and Poland are united in what we have done and are prepared to do to help Ukraine and the people of Ukraine. Full stop. And the vice president's visit to Europe is apparently all for show. According to Politico, White House officials say Harris is not there to make any deals, but merely as a symbol of the administration's commitment to Ukraine. What Harris did, however, was bring awkward moments like this. And for President Duda, I wanted to know if you think and if you asked the United States to specifically accept more refugees. Okay. <laughs> a friend in need is a friend indeed. <laughs> okay, I, I can first. Jesse, I'll go to you. Why did they even send her? <laughs> well, Hunter was busy. Hunter? Yes. <laughs> so snotty. So, sorry, Geraldo. I don't know whether she didn't know that she was being called upon or couldn't answer the question because she was just asked, will you guys accept refugees? Right. She always accepts refugees. She's never said no to accepting refugees. Mm -hmm. And she couldn't handle it, and she tossed it to the Polish president. That was strange to then cackle and laugh during a time of crisis like this. Putin's got to be looking at this and saying to himself, and he's KGB, this does not look like a united front. When you have a kerfuffle, amateur hour, with a Polish jet, that's a fiasco. Biden apparently said, yes, yeah, send jets, and then the Pentagon said, no, we can't do it. So Biden said, it was the Polish president's idea. And so she goes over there, and it's a word salad. I counted some phrases, and we're paid to speak for a living, so we know when someone has no idea what they're talking about. In, You're the in, expert. I am. <laughs> in, in, in three sentences, <laughs> this, is, this is what she said. To the extent... In terms of, in light of, in particular, and as it relates to. There was a guy on social media, I think Matt Walsh was his name. He said, Kamala sounds like she's trying to hit the word count for a term paper. <laughs> Remember in high school, you just had to get it to 300 words. That's how she sounds. So I'm sick of them saying nothing. And I would actually like Biden especially to stop saying what he won't do. I know people have said that before, but... Why not keep Putin guessing? Why not maybe say, well, you know what, we might actually, we're not taking anything off the table. You know, maybe you buzz some jets over the Russian border. Maybe you throw some subs into the Black Sea. Maybe you pay Putin's girlfriend a visit in Switzerland. You knock on the door of the chalet, maybe deliver a bouquet of roses. <laughs> maybe the CIA writes a little something in the note. I'll see you in The Hague. Get in his head, because right now, Putin doesn't, what's he have, two weeks to surround the capital? Zelensky's in deep trouble if he can't hold these guys off soon. And it's, you know, they're going to starve him out and then they're going to send in assassins. We don't have a lot of time. We have to do something more than we're doing right now. Well, you know, Dana, given the fact that she doesn't even have the, cap the ability to say, yes, we will accept refugees when she's in charge of the border, uh, <laughs> is, is really, it's stunning. I mean, she has the, like, the intellectual horsepower of a fourth grader. I mean, why is she there? Didn't she know that she'd be asked these questions? Well, I, um, I wouldn't, I think that she was sent there on a mission that was destined to fail. And this has happened again and again to her. Intentionally? She, but, 
No, not necessarily. I think that because that the administration is just like at cross purposes. At once, she was like she was going to go to Poland because she was going to deliver some something tangible. And then when she gets there, after the fact, they say, actually, no, she's just there to show a symbolic relationship. Now, her performance was very much not tear down this wall, okay? It was better than John Kerry taking James Taylor to France, but she, de she gets there, so she doesn't have a deliverable to say, the MiGs are going to get to Ukraine. But not only did she not have a deliverable, she didn't know the answer to the question about why the MiGs aren't going. Right. And that's the most important thing that you, she could have done today is provide clarity on that. Now, instead, th we're on the, the third day of everyone saying, help us understand. Javelins are okay to send, the Patriot missile system, that all of that is okay, but the MiGs are not. That might be a good decision, but can you explain it to us? And they are not able to do that. She should not have taken the assignment if she wasn't going to be able to deliver something. Or she should have said, I've got an idea. Why don't we deliver this, X, Y, or Z. Or she could have said, the refugees are welcome, they just got to get through Mexico first. <laughs> All right. Go ahead, Greg. What? <laughs> well, I was just writing something down thinking, oh, I probably can't say that. You, you know what? It? Look, she could get, she could become very sensitive. <laughs> I'll ask you this, Geraldo. <laughs> she, she could be, as as the children are at play. Are what? you ready? No, go ahead, Geraldo. Go, go ahead. Are you ready? No, go ahead. Okay. I want to interrupt. She can get very excited about ICE, and she can liken them to the KKK, and she can be very knowledgeable I about certain things. that's a fair things. point. And then all of a sudden, she's clueless on the national and the international stage. Well, I think that you, you hit on something legitimate with that criticism because she seemed meek and unsure, to Dana's point. Uh, she didn't go there with any kind of decisiveness. Whether or not she had a deliverable, she could have been optimistic. For example... We saw a stunning video today of, uh, apparently, unless uh, someone contradicts it or say it was staged, of the Ukrainian special forces ambushing a Russian tank column with their javelin missiles and tank after tank, or with the drones, tank after tank blowing up, Russian tank after Russian tank going up. She should have been this. We're getting them. The fight is on. And uh, Zelensky's doing a great job. And this is the Alamo and uh, we should celebrate their, uh, their courage and their patriotism. A little zest, a little optimism, instead of going there and nervous laughter uh, uh, that, that's off cue. And, uh, you know, it just, it seems, you know, I, I, want, I want to love her. I want her to be the historic figure that she she's is. She's not. But she's, uh, she's, she's not living people. up to who. Geraldo, you can't change You can't, people. you can't, you, you but, can't but you can still aspire and... <laughs> And, and my headline with them, I can't, sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, my, oh, my, my, my head, this time. Uh, my, <laughs> I'm falling apart. <laughs> my headline is that the Ukrainians ain't beat yet, and we're helping them fight, and, and Putin is thinking, yeah, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Is that what Putin's thinking, Greg? I think that Putin realizes that we're not in it to win it. Right. We wouldn't have sent her. She's great for us, this show, but she's lousy for this job. She makes us laugh, but her laugh is so unsettling because it wasn't she wasn't laughing about an, an obvious thing that other people could see. It was also it was an inside joke of sorts. So it just is kind of like, what are they doing up there right now? I don't understand it. She's like a child. She's on a big trip. She's like a child who's allowed to see the cockpit, but you better not touch anything. <laughs> Please don't touch any of the buttons. She's not allowed to have any any impact on anything because she's not to be, you know, they don't trust her. She is right now a Polish joke. And I love that she said full stop. But um, yeah. but you think when you when you now that's the that's the unserious stuff. The serious stuff and the sad part is this is a symbolic virtue signal that is replacing real activity. We do not need this sort of emblem is what she was referred to. She's an emblem of our concern. We need a shocking, audacious diplomatic effort, and we need it swiftly. I've talked about it before. You know, we've said we spent a lot of time and billions of dollars in the Ukraine. Now they need us. We got to send our very best there, not the joker in a pantsuit. We need Obama. We need Trump. We need Bush. They got to go. One or two, the combination, because we, we need mediation on steroids that expresses how much the world is disgusted by this and how intent we are on stopping the bloodshed and potential World War III. Without that, by doing this, this only prolongs it. This yes. prolongs the suffering, and, and, and it makes us look like we don't care.
Can I add one and other thing? Single. Is that her, she, the, she had a message to send to the American people, right? Because we are all watching. Um, Putin's watching. But we haven't talked about the Ukrainian response. And their reaction to her speech was, <laughs> was uh, abysmal. And to Geraldo, you said she should have spoke with optimism for them. If you uh, hanging on every single word the administration says, and those were the words today, right. you would not feel like you were comforted. You definitely needed defiance. Yeah, yeah, and she has, I think, failed in all of those 